Hi guys, went in the charity shops yesterday, nothing interesting, so I went in Poundland and bought myself one of those LED solar lights, um, that's nothing to do with today's video, that's an old solar rocker which usually sits in our bedroom window and is covered in dust and I noticed this morning it was broken, I think somebody not mentioning Nanny's name, had rested something on it strongly enough to break that little plastic peg that balances that um, leaf. So that'll be a separate video. We'll have to take that apart um, and see if we can glue that back in place. Might be lucky. Anyway, instead of that, today we're going to have a look in this solar light. Poundland, cost a pound. Um, if I just move the camera a second, it's the same as the ones that I've got already. Quite a few of them. The only difference is this one is brand new, so it's this year's model, and they're actually selling it as an antique light bulb. And we can see looking in it, they've got a bit of plastic up the middle to spread the light. I'll put the camera back in the tripod a minute. So, one thing they never tell you, I don't know if it's in the instructions now. No, nope, there's nothing in the instructions that tells you there's an on off switch there and unless you turn it on it won't work so sunlight hits well ambient light hits the solar panel light goes out and the battery in there charges cover it over light comes on that little bit there is supposed to make it look like a um, filament bulb or something hanging down there. We'll try it in the dark and then we'll take it apart. Let's find somewhere dark. dark. Let's find somewhere dark. All right, there we are in the dark or comparative dark and that little plastic bit extends the light from the LED and does make it look like it's got a filament in there. If you're imaginative enough. So yeah, that part looks nice. Back on the dining room table. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll take it apart and have a look inside. I suppose I could pull that clip off. So that's the clip that you suspend it from. It's got some power in there already. Unscrew the bulb, just turn that and it unclips, and then, oh, that one will do. Well, I suppose we should just look inside. So that's the on off switch. So I put my finger over the bowl, uh, over the panel okay two screws now whether the this bit will come out or not we might be lucky or we might not <laughs> I'm trying to get all complicated and it's just the top lifts off. All right, okay. So inside, wires go up to the panel. These have got smaller over the years. Originally they were about double that size or close to double, 50% bigger, I would say. But they've been this size. Certainly all the ones up in the roof are the same size as this. Then we got the 
circuit board rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery that chip does all the work um, I'll do a close-up of it so we can see which particular one it is an inductor there looks like a resistor but it's an inductor and the on-off switch and then directly wired or directly soldered the LED so power comes in gets stored in the battery and then the circuit actually boosts the voltage in effect to actually run the LED because that will be a 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery which is not enough to light a white LED they need about 3 volts so that inductor and the circuitry in there um, oscillates yeah oscillates so the net result is enough voltage to light the LED um, I've said before in previous videos similar circuit to what we like to call a dual thief which generates higher voltage by oscillating that's actually hot glued in place I was just going to pull it out and show you but they've put a little bit of hot glue in there so when these don't work first thing is have you actually switched it on because they haven't told you you need to switch it on second thing is have one of these wires come loose from the um, solar panel if you get damp inside then they will corrode and they might drop off third thing could be nickel metal hydride battery has reached the end of its lifetime and no longer holds the charge and then I suppose the next thing is any of these could have corroded if we've got damp inside bearing in mind these are designed to um, hang outside in the wind and rain so it is quite possible that they could get wet in there I was just looking at that and that does look well sealed I mean all they do is use hot glue and hot glue does allow moisture through eventually so anyway can we get that to sit back in there nicely if I turn that round I think they're okay get them to line up yeah there we are There must be hundreds of videos on YouTube of people doing a tear down on these lamps. I mean, they only cost a pound, they're easy to get hold of. But I haven't done a video of this latest version, so... In my video description, you will find... Um, lots of solar related playlists so have a look in the video description oh just one thing about uh, repairing these i did show you i've got quite a few up in the roof there in fact we'll just take the camera again and some of those don't work very well they light up briefly and then they die again fairly quickly and that will be that little nickel metal hydride battery needs replacing but what's the point in replacing it when you'll probably pay more to get some of those nickel metal hydride batteries when the actual whole unit only costs you a pound anyway I suppose you could make them slightly larger but to be honest the larger the battery you use the harder the solar panel struggles to keep it charged up and I quite often find if I put larger milliamp hour batteries in there, then it doesn't work. It lights up for a while, but you don't get enough charge 
to keep it fully charged. So it just slowly runs down. Switch that back on again. Yeah. I quite like that effect. I shall add this to the rest of the ones up in the up in the roof there. Oh, and then I'll do a totally separate video about trying to repair that one. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.